Christmas, you filthy animal. And a, and a happy new year. Good morning, Danny Gang. Welcome back to our channel. Happy Thursday. Happy day three of, of Vlogmas. Y'all, it is 7.30. I'm on my way to work. And I wanted to come and say good morning. Y'all, I did not get up this morning and go to the gym. Because, y'all, I have worked out, I think, four days straight. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And, yeah, so I worked out four days straight. I am going to take a break today. And um, I'll work out tomorrow, which is Friday. I'm going to probably take a break Saturday. And then I'll get back on it Sunday. I want to be able to take um, a, like a couple off days a week. And when I say off, I mean not physically going to the gym. Of course, I'm going to be walking around and trying to get like some cardio in. But I don't want to like overdo it. But anyway, um, it's day three of Vlogmas. And it's almost the weekend. And I think during Vlogmas, I'm going to be excited for the weekends. Because I'll be able to do more and I won't have to go to work. I think I'm also going to be excited, obviously, when we get closer to Christmas because I'm going to be doing a lot. Y'all know I travel during Christmas time, so those are going to be fun vlogs. Y'all love seeing my family, so y'all, it's going to be lit. But, um, yep, so it's 7.30, headed to work. Got to be there at 8. I do have my coffee. Um, y'all already know I made the caramel cookie it's Nespresso pie, and then I added, um, I added a, a Nespresso, like an espresso shot. I think I used um, Bianco Liagro. So, yeah, got my coffee. Gonna heat that up and sip on it at my desk. Um, but before we even get all the way into the vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog, I need you guys to know that I am now set to the members of the Daddy Gang. So if you want to be a member of the Gang Gang Gang, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. After you hit the bell, put your fist up and fight me. Because 2020 is ghetto. And I need people in my game that's going to hold it down. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, fight me. And once you fight me, and you're jumped in, and only then are you a lifetime member. Period. So yeah, y'all, I'm um, sorry about the lighting changes. I do not know where my sunglasses are. Um... But, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. Um, I am, like I said, <sighs> vlogging. So, y'all, I actually have to leave work today at around 12. And I'm going to take y'all with me because, y'all, I broke a bracket up here. On my braces, I broke a freaking bracket. It's, like, hanging on my freaking thread. So, I finally... Um, will be going to my orthodontist. Um, I told y'all that I was going to have to switch or orthodontist obviously out here because I can't go to Atlanta so often because I live here and now I work here. So I do have an orthodontist appointment at 12 20. So we're going to go there. I'm super excited about it because I want to get a second opinion and then they're going to be taking over my um, teeth. So I'm super excited about that. All right, gang, so I'm back, y'all. I had to get on the GPS and figure out where I was going because sis still don't know where she's going. But anyway, um, y'all, I got this bag under my eye. I've been so tired. But anyway, so we got a dentist appointment at 1220, which I'm super excited about because y'all know I started my dental work in Atlanta. And obviously, I'm living here now, so I need to go ahead and transfer to a new orthodontist. And she comes highly recommended um, from people out here. So, I'm really excited to um, head over there on my lunch to um, get a consultation and have them repair this bracket. Y'all, like I've told y'all before, I did not anticipate brackets breaking and all this crazy stuff with <clears throat> braces. But, I'm embracing it no pun intended but anyway so that's what we'll do i'll take you guys with me when we go to the orthodontist and that should be pretty cool like i said i'm just really excited to see what plan they're gonna put me on and how the price changes and stuff like that i want to know how soon they want to put my bottom braces on so i'm just super excited so we'll figure that out also um since i have so much to do like on my lunch break i'll be on the go i did bring some bone broth with me um i have a couple different options so typically when i'm on the go but i'm gonna be hungry i always like have bone broth on hand um so i do have this swanson 
bone broth and the flavor chicken. Now these are not that um, flavorful, so you will have to add like your own salt and pepper and stuff like that. But um, it's really cool because it already has a sippy top, and um, you can just warm it up, put your salt and pepper in there, girl, and go on on the go. And um, obviously, it is keto friendly. There's less than one gram of carbs per container, and it's very filling. And since it's really cold outside, it can keep me warm. Sorry about this lighting, y'all. But I also bought a couple packs of my Kiss My Keto Bone Broth. So I don't know if you guys remember, I worked with Kiss My Keto before, and they sent me a whole bunch of freaking bone broth. So I grabbed a couple of them too, just in case I want these instead. And I'm gonna put them in my lunch bag. Um, I got the Kiss My Keto Bone Broth and Lemon Turkey Thyme. This one sound, these sound more flavorful. So lemon turkey thyme, and then I also have the Kiss My Keto Bone Broth and beef chili. So I know y'all said y'all like to see, y'all would like to see what I eat on like my lunch or what I eat in the day, what I eat in the work day. So yeah, I did bring these with me as well as this bone broth. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have this one and just put some salt and pepper in it because I'm gonna be on the go. And then with these, I would have to like get a cup and all of that, get water. So yeah, this is probably gonna be my go-to. But if you're keto and you're looking for something warm, filling, um, bone broth is the way to freaking go. But anyway, y'all, I ain't got on nothing major. I just got on a button-down um, shirt, navy blue and white, some black slacks, and some little booty heels. And yeah, y'all already know how I got my hair. I'm getting some new hair in the mail, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I got some bags under my eyes, y'all. If y'all know remedies to get rid of bags, let me know. But anyway, y'all, I've been talking too, too long. I will see you guys when we're headed to the orthodontist. Okay, gang, so I'm here at the orthodontist, and I wanted to just show you guys these cool new braces. So this orthodontist has these gold braces. They also have these right here, which are just the standard braces um, in silver, the standard metal braces that everyone gets most of the time. And then they also have these right here, which are gold, but they're more of a um, ashy gold or a light gold that orthodontist did say that these are new and as you can see the difference one of them is a light brighter a lot brighter and more vibrant than the other so those are options and um i pretty much am just now picking what style of braces i am going to want to switch to um when they put them on and then of course they have the clear braces and the clear braces um, are going to be more however if you want a more i guess invisible look then you would go with clear i think the gold ones are really pretty however i just don't want like my teeth to look yellow so i think i'm going to stay with the standard braces but you guys will just have to keep watching to see like which braces i actually went with but the fact that this orthodontist has so many different kinds already shows me i'm gonna be kind of like in the right place so yep I will tell you guys what happened a little bit later. Hey gang, so y'all, I've kind of been moving and shaking all day. Um, it's like 5.30 and I'm just now leaving work. I get off at 5, but um, I was still learning something. Um, I did premiere my last video at about 4.30 because I thought I was just going to chill till it was time to go. And then the lady that was training me was like, sis, come on, let me show you this. So um, I end up staying till 5.30 and now I'm on my way home. I live about 30 minutes or so away from my job. So I try to be gone right on time because it gets darker and I just want to be at home like in a decent hour. Um, so that's why I'm like trying to vlog right now. While it's still a little bit of light so you guys can see my face, I might still vlog when I get home. But y'all, once I take my wig and my makeup off, I don't be trying to be on camera, okay? So, um, work was cool. I had a great day, 
but I wanted to come back and tell y'all about my braces, give y'all a little update. So if you've been watching my journey, you know that I got braces back in September, September 2020. I got them on September 3rd. And the idea was I was going to get them in Atlanta. And then once I moved and everything, I was just going to transfer out here and continue my braces treatment, which is still the plan, which is in motion, which is why I went today. I went to the orthodontist today for one to take the bracket off that I had chipped and was kind of wobbly and for two to um, have them look at my teeth give me my x-rays and let me know how much they will cost switching to them and things of that nature so in the video that you guys saw when I was there I did a voiceover of the different type of braces that they offer so they offer silver gold clear and I described everything in that clip so y'all I had told y'all that in Atlanta, they had estimated that the cost of my braces would be about, um, and that was with the retainers after and everything like that. Tell me why they told me that it would be like an additional $2,000. I am going to research that and see. I know the going price for braces is four to $6,000. So it's not totally unrealistic. I just didn't think that my braces would cost that much and the thing about it is they saw some things that the uh, orthodontist in Atlanta didn't see which I do believe because I have I know a couple people that went to the orthodontist that I'm going to out here and their teeth have made such an amazing um, transformation and I know we can't base our own transformation off other people but we can kind of have an idea. So I've had my braces since September and quite honestly, I don't see a difference. And I know some people say you can't go off that, but I'm just saying, I don't see a difference. Um, so that's the price. The price is, it is significantly more um, than what they said in Atlanta. Now, the other thing is it's more, but they said the time that I would have my braces is actually less. So that's something to consider as well. Um, and then lastly, and this is the most hurtful part, y'all. So the orthodontists out here don't use the same braces, brackets that I got put on my teeth in Atlanta. So in order to continue my smile transformation out here, I will have to set an appointment and um, remove these brackets and wires and braces and transfer to the brackets, wires, and braces that they use um, at this particular orthodontic office. Um, so that would be a whole nother process, which I wanna go ahead and do if I'ma do it because I, I haven't had my braces long. It's not like I'm a year down the line and now I'm moved and I gotta switch them out and all of that. That's the good part. The good part is I haven't had my braces that long. So the fact that they need to take them off and put on new brackets and wires, it's kind of okay because I had told y'all that if I was to go back to Atlanta, they had to do the same thing. They wanted to move some of my braces and brackets around and they wanted to give me a thicker wire. So essentially, they would have been taking them all off again and putting them back on anyway. So it's kind of the same. So I got a big decision to make. But anyway, that's like a little braces update. Y'all know I'm going to keep y'all in the loop when it comes to adult braces. But I was just so shocked that, you know, the price had increased so much. Um, but again, I'm going to do my research. Y'all let me know down below in the comments um, if you have braces or if your kids have braces, how much did y'all end up paying? Your girl is beat. It is Thursday though, so it's Friday Junior. I'm so excited about that. And again, I'm really blessed to have a full-time job where I still have my weekends off. I don't have to sacrifice anything. I can still make plans for the weekend. I can still go out of town. I can still do whatever I want to do. So I'm really blessed in that retrospect. Um, I'm in a red light, y'all. So I'm really blessed in that retrospect. And yeah, child. Tonight, um, I think I'm just gonna make some chili dogs. I know that's lame, like girl, but it, when the week started, I went to the store and I showed y'all. I went to the store and I just bought like some quick ready things because I work full time, they work full time. Nobody's gonna be at home to cook a five star meal. Um, so for the first week while I was getting acclimated, I just grabbed like some quick things. So I'm probably gonna head home, take a shower, and then just make some um, hot dogs. I got some turkey hot dogs at home, I got the buns. So we'll probably just do that. That way, um, you know, it'll just be a quick meal. 
he can eat them with chips, fries, or whatever. But that's my little update, y'all. That's my little spiel. That's how my day went. And I'll probably pull you guys back out when I get home. All right, gang. So I told y'all I was about to be real basic. Babe don't want to eat hot dogs, but I'm going to eat hot dogs because he probably going to eat out. And I, 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 I'm just trying to do good. So I'm just making some turkey hot dogs. I'm going to put some chili as well as some cheese and mustard on top. Yeah. So I'm just going to eat some hot dogs with some chili. And I'm going to put some cheese on top to try to do good. And that's going to be dinner. Ain't nothing burning, babe. That's the eye. Bye, y'all. All right, gang. So, um, I've already ate. And I already ate. And, y'all, we had a knock on the door. I was waiting on the Amazon package. And it actually came. So, I wanted to come and show you guys what we got. And I'll leave them linked in the description box if you guys want them but if you guys remember when i moved in with babe i had got these pillows and these cases off of amazon for a really good price so if you like this blue i'll leave these linked down below as well but since it was christmas time i wanted to get some different ones so i already put in two pillows i'll show you all them and then i'll show you the one that's empty but they are so cute so basically um i think they were like 16 bucks and i got all four of these cases and i think the cool thing about this is you can just get the pillows off amazon and then for the seasons just order new cases this is an 18 by 18 pillow and i just think they're so cute so y'all know we're going kind of with an traditional type of theme or whatever so this is the pack of four so it came with this one right here that says merry christmas with the reindeer so freaking cute and i have a blanket on my couch which i'll show y'all that my mom made last year this same print so this is the first pillowcase that it came with and again you got four for like 16 bucks and says merry christmas this is the second one still saying staying with that theme and i forget the name of this um print somebody told me in the comments below but i forgot what they said but um we're gonna stick with this print and just kind of like the traditional theme so this is like a cream pillow with a reindeer on it and then these are the other two pillows i'm gonna go ahead and put these shams on it but this is the other one we got i told y'all it was coming and it's just that red truck with the tree on the back with the little reindeer and it says merry christmas and then this is the other one same type of theme and it says baby is cold outside so i'm about to put the pillows the um, covers on the pillows and put them on my couch well on our couch but i will leave these links below if you guys want them um i'll leave the pillows below as well um without the shams so that you guys can order them as well and then just change them up for the season so freaking cute so i'm just gonna put these like in a bag for whenever we want to use them again period but yeah i think this is my favorite i just love this little red truck but anyway, I'm going to put these on my couch and I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, gang. So I am about to edit this and probably go to sleep. And I think it's like it's early, y'all. It's like eight o'clock. Y'all probably hear my heater on. I got the heater on, y'all. And I'm playing. Um. I'm just playing my game. What is this called? I'm playing. I see. I can't even think of what this is called. Animal Crossing, y'all. So, um, that's me. But y'all, I'm just about to. Um, this is what I have been doing. I've been having so much fun just playing Animal Crossing, building my little island, y'all. But um, this is my house. It's a little bit bare, but you know, I got my coffee station over there. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Um. Let me see if I can get y'all to see as I walk. So, yeah, this is my house, y'all. I got my little coffee over here, a little coffee bar, my little fridge. And then what else? Got a little plant. Y'all know I do have a snake plant named Mamba, so I put Mamba in the game. And that's me. Hey, girl. Um... But yeah, y'all, my hair, my house is very bare. 
but this has been my favorite pastime for like the past two weeks y'all know i got the switch before i moved out here and i just have been so busy that i hadn't had time to play but now i'm making time and this is just my bedroom y'all i got my bed i got a um humidifier diffuser a little lamp and yeah if y'all want like a how island tour and if y'all want to see me like redecorate my house because i am redecorating my house if y'all want to see me do that let me know but yeah i'm just about to kick back relax put my feet up and play a little bit of animal crossing um i got a lot of challenges i'm trying to complete see i got some pumpkins that's one of my friends but yeah y'all um i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here on a happy but yet very tired note um see i didn't sit down let me just turn around so i'm just gonna we just gonna sit real quick but yeah, if y'all made it, uh oh, it's 927 because this game is in real time. So um, it's 927 and I'm about to go ahead and end the vlog. So if you made it all the way to the end, drop the little um, game controller down below because this has been fun. If you don't have a Switch or if you don't have something that you could just play or do without any thought, then I encourage you to get something like me, my Nintendo Switch and books reading are like my go-to things to just escape and relax but anyway i love y'all leave the controller down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye